I didn't know any Muslims uh, growing up. I grew up in Canada. And the first Muslims I met were um, from Senegal and Mauritania when I was uh, studying in France. Uh, wonderful people. Uh, they're from um, very solid communities, caring, compassionate communities. And I, I saw in them this spirit of um, uh, generosity, patience, compassion that really appealed to me, uh, just as from a, a friendship point of view. But because they were such kind people, um, I wanted to know more about their life, about the country they lived in, their cultural context. And because of that, I, I realizing that they were Muslim, um, and they were very low-key about it. I mean, they weren't trying to push their religion on me by any means. I, I read about their religion. I didn't know anything about Islam. And uh, so for the first time, I opened up the Qur'an. And it was really the Qur'an that brought me to Islam because when I, at that point in my life, I didn't have any faith in God. And by the time I had spent some uh, some time reading the Qur'an, I found that I had regained my faith in God. So it was really um, out of gratitude to the Qur'an that I felt that I should continue to learn, you know, what is this tradition that brought me this uh, sacred book that allowed me to regain something so valuable in my life. And how difficult has it been here in the last to actually accept your belief? So? Well, I think that, I mean, the first hurdle for, for certainly for my friends and family was just um, understanding the implications of Islam. You know, I became a Muslim in the mid-80s, and at that time, Islam wasn't in the news like it is now, for better or worse. So there was a lot of fear about what that would mean um, with respect to my life. And, of course, many of my friends and family felt that at least uh, putting myself in a position where um, I was affiliated with a group about which there was little known, um, and certainly now it would be little known or a lot uh, known that's that's untrue, would make my life more difficult. Um, you know, I can only say that, that my life has been filled with blessings. Um, being a Muslim means that I, not only that I have this, um, this long tradition of uh, teaching of spirituality and ethics that I can draw upon and learn and my life has been in scholarship but also a community of people who are supportive and of course there are some people who are um, who will treat anyone who's different um, uh, in, in a negative way people who have prejudices people who have fears but my experience has has you know mostly been positive um, I think most people simply want to know that, that you will treat with them with respect and they'll treat you with respect. Uh, if, if you are a kind person and, and try to be helpful um, to anyone, try to contribute positively to your society, then others will value that. And, um, you know, no matter who we are, we're going to face obstacles. We're going to face some people who are ignorant. Um, whether, or, you know, from whatever reason they, they, they might treat you that way. Um, but if you have, if you have a community and if you have values and principles, um, that can support you and you can draw upon to at least hold on to your own sense of dignity, um, and value, then, then you'll be able to get through that. And, and I'm so grateful that I have all of that, that wealth that is within Islam. Um, to allow me to continue to go forward.